Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rafael Aru Shafe. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can create a CSS in uh, using a, a expression web. So now the question has been given. Now if you look at this one now, this question is, is talking about uh, cre creation of uh, CSS. So this question is being extracted from IGCSE past question. Open a style sheet window to create a new style sheet using the following specification. All table borders have a width of zero and grid lines are separated. All cell spacing within the table is set to 10 pixels. The background color of the table is black. All tables are sent and aligned in the browser. There is no cell padding. There is no what? Cell padding. Now let's quickly go to expression web. I've already opened it before. So now let me go straight to CSS. So I will now go and create the CSS in CSS window. This is very, very important. Please don't create it in HTML uh, a platform. So you just click on what? On file. Then I will go to new. Then I will now see CSS. I will just click on it. So you can see that CSS has been opened in CSS uh, window. So what we are going to do now, we just go to what? Go to new style. So when we go to new style, now let's quickly go to the question. Now the first thing we are going to do is this. All table border have a width of table. Now if you look at this style, now the style is what? Is table style. And that is what we are going to put in the selector. That's what we are going to put in the selector. So it's what? The width is zero. Now let's quickly do that right away. Now I will delete this. Then I will now type table. So then from then I will now go to border, click on border. So what I am going to put is the border width is what is zero. That is what the question is saying. So it means that I am done with this one. Then and grid lines are separated. Grid lines are what are separated. Now let's quickly do that. Now, when we are talking about grid lines are separated, they are talking about the what? About the padding. They are talking about the the padding. Talking about the padding. So it is separated. Whether it's what is the the. I mean, it's talking about the border. Whether the border is collapsed or not. That is what we are talking about here. Now, when we are talking about these uh, grid lines are being separated. So it's talking about what is talking about the border collapse. Now look at this material, border collab. This is this is before border collab. You can see that there is it's like this border is double. It's like this border is what is double. So it means that this border is not collapsed. It's, it's not collapsed, but this one is collab. That is after border collab. So you can see the difference. But the question is telling us that the the grid lines are what are separated so you can see the fiction in the css so when they are talking about uh the grid lines is being separated just click on what on table then from there you now go to what border collapse then you click on what you click on separate so now let's move to the question again so we are done with this one all set spacing within the table is set to what is set to 10 pixels. So now let's go there. Now we are still on the same place table. So you will now see border spacing here. So what we are going to put here, we just put 10, then and the dimension. The dimension is what it's already in pixels. So please don't forget to change this. It, at times it could be in point. It could be in point, it could be in uh, centimeter, it could be in uh, uh, millimeter. So but this question is saying Pizzle, that is px so don't forget to change to change it to what to the right dimension so we have done that so the next thing we are going to do now okay we are do we are done with this one is the background so the background is what the background color is what is is black that is the background of the table is what is black and don't forget that hashtag is the first thing you are going to you are going to what you are going to type when you are trying to what you are trying to put the 
color then the six digit so and this color here is always in hexadecimal so when we are talking about black so black is going to be what is going to be ash uh, ash uh, tag it's going to be what it's going to be hashtag then zero 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 then and zero zero so this is the black color now let's quickly do that so just go to what go to background then from there you will now see background color so you can type the or you select the black here right away or you can what you can type it you can see it now so you can type it now let's move to the next question so we are done with this one all table as as center aligned in the browser are what as center aligned in the browser for example let's say this is the table so this is the table this is the table and this is the what this is for example this is the the browser this is the environment in your own browser so this table should be what should be centered align should be centered align so when we are talking about central align we are talking about what well, we are talking about the alignment so it means that the margin left is going to be what is going to be auto and the margin right is going to be auto because they are talking about what about the uh center align so let's quickly go and do that right away let's go and do that right away so let's go and do that right away so central align so now let's go to let's go to uh boss click on boss then you will now see this one right that is margin margin right is going to be what is going to be so margin right is going to be what is going to be sorry So margin right is going to be what is going to be auto then the margin left is going to be what is going to be auto please you need to deactivate this before uh you can be able to select here it's very very important you need to deactivate this that is same for all you need to work you need to deactivate this so you can see it now margin right is auto and margin left is auto so now what we are going to do so we are done with this one said there is no cell padding so this one we are going to do it in another style so when they are talking about padding please you should know that it's going to be what is good the style is going to be table that is uh, it's going to be what td that is table data though some people normally do it in table then it will work but at times it may not work but i would advise you when they are talking about the cell padding please use a style called td so now i will apply this one for the table style then i will click on this one so you can see it now so now let's quickly go and create another style for td so that we can have our cell padding so i will call this one td call this one td then i will now go to what i will now go to I will go to boss so once i click on what on the uh, uh boss once i click on boss once i click on boss then i will now see our uh, cell padding so the cell padding is what the cell padding is it means that they said there's no cell padding so i'm going to put it at zero so I'm going to put it as zero. So then I will now click apply, then OK. So this is what we have done so far. You can see the border width that is zero, border collab is separate, border spacing is 10 pixels, the background color is black. Then the center align of the table is margin right auto and margin left auto. And there is no word cell padding so since you are we have done this one so you will just click on what you click on file then you save save as in case if they ask you to save it in your work area just look for your work area then and save 
look for your work area and what and save then you click on this one then you can now attach your what the css if they ask you to attach it just attach it i believe that you know how to attach css to your html so thank you so much uh this is how you can create css then before i before i i i end up this uh, video when we are talking about padding self padding self padding is the space is the space the spaces between the cell and the border the spaces the spaces between the cell and the word and the border that is what is called what core cell padding so please take note of this so thank you so much please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my youtube please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube so that you can be getting updates you can get more info if you are, get more notification about my the subsequent video that i am going to uh, do please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube thank you